It's very painful. I'm dreaming about chicken sandwich right now. The hardest is not to kick. Hi, my name is Alina Levitz and I'm a tattoo artist, as you could gather from the name of the video. This is my first video and I have no idea how it's gonna go, but we will see in the end. So I'm a tattoo artist and uh, I've been thinking recently that I don't want my tattoos. Yeah, I have been waking up at night sometimes thinking I don't want my tattoos. I have been doing therapy for over a year right now and I guess there is some connection between therapy and how you feel yourself in the body. Okay, now let's look at my tattoos. This one I've done the, when I was 18. It's the first tattoo I've ever done. Very cheesy one, it says Carpe Diem. I probably will laser it out in the nearest future if I find a good place to do it. Uh, on my thigh I have a writing, it's in Russian. It's a phrase from a poem. It says, my sunshine, this is not the end. This is the beginning, look around. And this one I really like. I probably would do it in Ukrainian, but to it. This one is the cover-up in progress on my right arm. It's a very painful spot, a lot of work to do still. You can see that it's pretty much halfway, halfway through. On the back of my arm, I have my favorite work. And it's right here. It's a chrysanthemum flower. It's a cover-up as well. I love it. And uh, I will find, I'll try to put how it was before. On the left arm I have the alchemy signs and the three bracelets. Alchemy signs are pretty neutral, I probably will keep them or also laser them out. And I will probably laser out this one because it's in Latin and I done it when I was 22, 11 years ago. And at first I thought that it meant special spices of emotions, but it actually means special motions. And this is the last one I have, it's the planets on my spine recently i added to it a simple line i like this one so i probably will keep it and um, just not gonna do any more tattoos so yeah this is how it looks all my tattoos i have quite a few tattoos and i've been doing tattoos for almost uh, five or six years by now for other people I've done a lot of cover-ups, different styles. I've been still looking for my style. But in the end of the day, what I have to say that I enjoy the process of tattooing. I enjoy the art of it, how sacred it is for some people, how much meaning they put in their tattoos. But you know what? Recently, I realized that I don't want to have any meaning on me anymore. And yet, I do have tattoos with meaning. I was thinking about how I could cover them up and um, of course the first idea that comes to my mind is to find art that has less representation in terms of depth of meaning and more art. So right now I'm covering my tattoos with uh, nature. I decided to take a bit of a floral because in the end of the day we all are nature and we all gonna go back to the mother earth and that's what speaks to me the most, I would say. As a tattoo artist talking about cover-ups, I would say that if you want to cover up your tattoos, you will need to make sure that you're okay with the new work being bigger than the earlier work, as this is the key point of having a successful cover-up. In my case, I had a um, smaller tattoo on the back of my arm over here, and the main uh, idea was that I really liked this flower, it's a chrysanthemum, and I decided that I'm okay with making it bigger. And the cover-up turned out pretty well, as you can't really see what was underneath, which is the key for a successful cover-up. In terms of my other tattoo that you might be looking at right now while I'm talking and think, oh my god, what's that black thing on her arm? Uh, yeah, it is this black thing is my in progress cover up and I'm gonna take you to the journey of the whole process of it, how I'm going to finish it. What I don't like about it that I was um, 
basically I chickened out to make it bigger and uh, I tried to make it as small as possible to cover what I had underneath and right now I'm pretty much regretting it as a lot of work that was underneath here in the black circle not a circle but like in this black area uh, there are three cover-ups done over it and it's always been the same theme I got the first mind to do was the thin feathers god I wish I just I just wish that I kept them till today so I probably would erase it or I would with a laser or I would cover it up much better but I went again and I did the better feathers that were bigger and then I went back and I got this inkwell with the feather over it which was a big piece of black work it's a black inkwell with the ink basically just like breaking at the bottle breaking and it spreads it was not readable everybody would tell me oh what's that is it a bug is it a cockroach my god it was uh, i learned to really uh, change my attitude towards these questions and make jokes but it was always kind of poking me you know it's like oh what's that scar on you it, nobody does that right but people think that it's okay to do it with tattoos so anyway, right now I'm trying to cover it up with another flower. I found this artist online and then I got uh, inspired by her work and uh, did this sketch. And now I'm realizing that to cover this black mark right here, I will need to spread it bigger because I don't like that it just sticks in its one dark area. And the idea is that when I will spread it, you will see, I want to add some lines, I want to add some red color. So it's going to be this uh, emerging art, which will flow from my arm into this flower. So it's going to be like a half sleeve, if you want to call it that way. Okay, it's going to happen now. I'm very scared. It's going to be very painful, especially this uh, wrist area here. Oh, I can't I cannot we're going to use some pain killing cream I don't know if it's gonna work we tried before it didn't really do much but I cannot I just have to hope that that it's gonna work now <laughs> this is our design we have the bird connecting the two flowers we tried two the lower one is gonna be the key it's very painful but we're using the painkiller but it's very painful even with the painkiller I'm dreaming about chicken sandwich right now the hardest is not to kick <laughs> not to move <laughs> I was planning to cover up more tattoos and I realized that I don't think I'm ready to get more ink on me. I've been doing therapy for over a year, I changed my attitude towards how I see the tattoos, how I see my body and I realized that when I have bad episodes of my nervous disorder at night I wake up and I feel anxious. And the first thing that I think in those bad moments of my night is that I don't want my tattoos on me anymore. I want to just stand in front of the mirror and see nothing but just my bare skin. I don't have the luxury of that because I can't go back and tell my 18 year old me to don't go that way. You don't know if you're gonna like the tattoos later in life. Isn't it what our parents tell us all the time? Don't do it, you're gonna regret it, you're gonna change your attitude to life. I was laughing for, for 10 years of getting different tattoos, I was laughing at all these attitudes and I was saying, you know what, when I'm older I won't give a shit. And yet, look at me, I'm older and I do. And I yet, and I'm a tattoo artist. Don't get me wrong, I love tattoos. I love doing tattoos, giving them. I love developing them, designing them. I even probably like getting them. I like the process of it. I like what it promises. What does tattoo promise to you? Oh, I'm gonna get that tattoo and I'm gonna like myself more. You know those memes instead of therapy, we go to tattoo artist. I like that meme because it's true. 
In the end of the day, what the tattoo gives us is the commemoration of the loved ones or just liking ourselves or sometimes maybe dysmorphing ourselves because if your attitude to your own body is not stable, <laughs> some people go and they just don't care and they just cover up their hands or arms or legs or whatever in black work and they just cover it in black. On the end of the day, what we want to do with our bodies reflects some distortion inside and I don't think at this point of my life I feel distorted. I probably am getting better from my nervous disorder and and getting on better terms with how I look at myself. I want to represent more to the world, not with my picture of my body image, but more to what I bring to the world. And, um, and at this point, I'm on the journey of changing the way I see my tattoos, the way I, the way they literally look like today. And, um, I will have to suck it up. My mom got her first tattoo when she was 50 and her artist was me. She loves her tattoo and uh, she doesn't have that attitude that uh, all majority of older generations have. She was okay with uh, me getting my first tattoo and yet I have to tell you a story that of my first tattoo, which I got on my foot, I wore a sock for like two weeks in summer or not two months in summer being scared to show it to my mom and when she saw it she was okay she didn't make a big scene she just kind of couldn't understand me and look after 15 years or well yeah i think it's been 15 years she is getting one from me and um, i'm gonna see her again and i'm gonna give her a new tattoo on her arm you can see the design, it's very simple, it's Indian uh, henna style to Mehendi and uh, it has, uh, basically I would say it has no meaning and in this way, this is what I find the safest way if you don't know what you want, if you can't decide what to do to get, what meaning to put how about you don't put any meaning, how about you just decorate your body as the, this beautiful piece of art because everybody is beautiful and you just add to it and don't put any meaning who cares if uh, your tattoo is something that has no depth it's your body it's your design or it's design that you work through with your artist and let it be here is how the tattoo turned out there is still some marker i did not have willpower to go through the pain longer so the red lines will be added later on i will update you on it whenever i have a chance but i think now it looks more like a half sleeve here is the bird and i'm hoping that the red line will add to it thanks for watching guys i hope this video was useful I hope you feel better if you don't like your tattoos. I'm welcoming you to my studio to get your cover up from me. You can get me my contact from Instagram. Reach out to me if you need help with designs of cover ups. You can see the work that I've done before. And uh, I'm welcoming you to not be afraid. Face what you don't like. Try to change it, change your attitude, because the main point is that you need to feel, you should feel happy about who you are, how you look, and don't waste your time on regrets. See you again. Bye.